Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I named the other one, so this is part two of this type. I named the other one 6B, This is or A, this is going to be 6B. So if you hold down the Alt key, you can swipe and it'll grab all the lines we nudge them out of the way. So now all we have are these circles. Then we just kind of need to figure out what we're going to, how many times we're going to blend it. So we're going to open up the uh, effects blend and we're going to grab that one and hold down the shift key, grab that one. And let's blend it 20 times. Just give it a test. That's pretty good. Now this one's a little further. So let's hold down the shift key and select both of them and let's do 22 times. And if you were doing this for real, you'd want to uh, maybe look at it a little bit closer and kind of go over them. Uh, this one we're going to do 24 times. And what I'm doing, I'm just trying to equally space them out. We got one more in this. Probably 24 is probably good enough. You could really go, let's go 25 and just see what it looks like. The blend blends them equally apart. Now this one to this one, we need to blend like maybe nine times too close. And somehow I made that one move. So let's go hold down the shift and let's just do seven. And once you get it kind of figured out, the ones that are going to be the next ones are going to be just as easy. Now, this is a good little trick. If you will group these together, control G and group these together. I didn't get them all. Control G. Then you can grab both these and do that seven times and save you some time. Same thing here. Uh, if we go and group these, make sure you get them all. Control G. Control G. This will save you a few steps. Hold down the shift key and select both of them and hit apply. Now the rest of them are going to be like individually. So hold that one and that one and we'll say, we'll say seven times to just see what it looks like. A little bit close. Let's go six. And if you were doing it for real. Now, remember that we did a blend. So I'm going to go ahead and go to effects and blend and break them apart. That way these are separate, but I need to go and go to object and ungroup them for it to work. So now I'm going to grab that one and that one. and Let's go uh, eight. And like I said, if you were doing this for real, maybe this one, hold down the shift, maybe make it nine. So it's just increasingly getting bigger on that. You know, I made a mistake. We don't want those. We want to go from here to here. Um, I should have probably blended all the way across on that one. There we go. Now these, hold down the shift. Let's try nine. Ah, too close. That's the last time I'm going to do that just so it won't take your time up. These are probably about the same. You know, even though they're a little bit further apart, they'll work. I'm just holding down the shift key and selecting both, both circles. My R looks really, without looking, my R looks really funny right now. Let's go 10 times because it's quite a bit further. And really, I think, well, we'll see. Let's uh, blend this like eight times. I should have done that whole line together. That's too close. Six. And I always go like, if I'm on an even number. Now let's go here to there. Uh, let's say 22. Good enough for the video. That one. That one is actually a little closer, but we'll go 22. That one to that one. That one. See, it moves, so I'm going to back up. Hold down the shift. Yeah, now it's starting to look good. This one, I don't know. It's probably eight. And I know this is probably... 
Now these are, this might work. I control G and control, make sure you get them all. Control G, then grab them both. Hopefully it'll work. Let's try that eight. That looks pretty good. Somehow I think I've got a double. These, these circles look darker. Nope, maybe not. Anyway, it's good enough. Because what you're going to do, I think, the person, you wouldn't want to cut this out. You're going to probably fill them with black. Now, because we've nudged, we can nudge it right back. But see, that's our that's our contour because the lines are on the line. This, this is going to be our one that we're going to use. Well, I did a, what I said not to do, I... Uh, I must have moved that out of the way. Now, it's not perfect. Um, you could probably add another row, maybe on the bottom. That line right there just looks really like it's double. Nope. Well, let's just do this. We could take those two and just re-blend them. I think that was about a 20 maybe too many, but you could go back and, and add, for some reason, the when I contoured, it didn't quite work right, and because we didn't blend these, we could put our nudge back to 0.3, nudge that, make a duplicate, control D, and nudge it up, maybe take like that one, break it apart, break the blend apart, Ungroup it, and then grab like that one, and then grab these two, and you could always move them. I think this was about a, well, let's just try 20. Doesn't look bad. And then you could go through and add a few like right in there, or, you know, another row down in here. But at least it's, it's somewhat uh, even and symmetrical. I I made this first video two days ago. I was hoping somebody would chime in. Um, something other than Corel did this, but it's uh, or whoever did it uh, spent a lot of work on it. But anyway, just another way to look at things, and maybe you learned a few tools along the way. Hope that helped. Thank you for.